And being chased by this fucking asshole. I'm just gonna shoot him. If he can keep his attention on, I'll just blow him up. Come on, you fucker. Drop dead. Thank you. I also brought with me my table, my uh, workbench. As I gathered, I would probably be needing it to build the wrecking balls. So, yeah. Come on, Barbella, get up. And wrecking balls made. Boom. Run, Barbella. I placed that perfectly. Ah! Did you guess who it was? I'm f I'm free, cough cough. Ah, that's him. He did it. He did this. Wow, what a fantastic explosion. But who's that over there? A human? Grr. And it's not just any old human. It's that builder everyone's always gooing on about. Just imagine how much goo lorry we'd get if we squished him. Oh, your wobbly lil wob wobbliness I've got some work for you defeat his wobbliness it's the king slime once again uh, that's right it's Rolo motherfucker and then that's right you take his attention I'll just stab him up for a whopping 15 or oh, 13 health each time Oh, for fuck's sake, I will be back momentarily again. And I'm back. I'm too busy paying attention to the fact that I'm excited that all of my old friends are back and not paying attention to that I'm actually dying really quickly. But, um, I can't now kill him because he's too high up. Um, but I just killed a, um, uni bunny. Um, and got some finest fur so yeah we're gonna get some steel armor when we get home oh for fuck's sake she's nearly dead oh screw this come on you fat fucker eat that oh I didn't even harm him here you go oh don't stand next to that barbell you bell end Oh, fuck off, scorpion. I'm busy. Oh, God. Fuck off a minute. He's dead. Uh, that took a while, but whatever. Oh, thank you, boy. If it weren't for you, I'd be... By my uncomprehending eyes, Harry, it's you. It's really you. Oh, my dear Harry, sob, gulp. It's been too long, sniff. I, I'm so very happy to see you again, sob, sniff. What? Am I one of the three holy sages sent to turn to jail by Benevolent Rubis herself? Of course I am. Who else but the Grand Mayor of Cantalin could be entrusted with, entrusted with such an important task encrusted? Fuck's sake. It's the role I was born for, my boy. Wahaha. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was nearly fuffled, or oh, fluffed my lines. You see, I was on my way over to help you prepare to defeat the Dragon Lord, just like the goddess said. But the very moment I set foot on these shores, I was set upon by the monsters and the divine artifact I was entrusted with was stolen from me. Do you see that sneaky slime over there? He's the culprit. Go on, Harry. Give that rotter a talking to and get the ancient emblem back. What? Where? Oh, it's a uni bunny thing. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Thank you. More steel armor. What about that? Leave the fucking scorpion alone. Oh, this one. 
Oh no, your wobbliness. Eek, I'm sorry, please don't squish me. If you squish me, you'll have sticky, smelly, gloopy goo on your hand, and nobody wants that, right? I'll give you that man his gulden in medallion back. Just promise you won't squish me, please. Sure, then. Oh, it was all Callum. That was the fucking thing that I was trying to think of. And I want me good and me dealion. And I'll let you guess who the uh, next person we're going to find is. Unfortunately, it's not Piper. As much as I'd love to see her again, it's not... Oh, uh, Pippa, rather. Well done, my boy. You've got the ancient envelope back. That medallion is the very artifact the goddess entr trusted me with to deliver to you in Tantadil Castle. It seems you'll need it to rebuild something called a rainbow drop, an item that that's vital for securing the Dragon Lord's downfall. And now my mission is complete. The ancient emblem is safely in your hands, and there is there it shall stay. Well, now what say we repair uh, to this castle of yours? There's something else I must give you, but that can wait until we get to the, back to civilization. I hope you don't mind if I move in for a while, little while. Sure, Rolo. Um, I'm not building you a luxurious pad, though, like last time. Hmm, what are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Ah, by the tear-stained cheeks, sob gulp. You'd rather I didn't move into your new town, Sniff, but I thought we were friends. What? You're only joking. <laughs> How are you, devil? These japes of yours will be the death of me. Come on, uh, come my friend, let's continue to turn to Joe Castle. I can't wait to see what you've done with the place. Sure, um, she's actually gonna pass out in a second. Wait, why is there another... Oh, do we have to take them back to the castle? Yeah, no, that's not happening yet. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, fuck up this monster. We need some more things to make more wrecking balls. And that. And we will move that to there. We will move the medallion to there. Swap that with that. And swap that to there. Can we even make any more right now? Oh my god, we can. Now I need to try and lure five monsters into one area and kill them with one bomb. Maybe we can get five slimes. That might work. But first, let's go and find the last person. Uh, I wonder if one of these bombs could kill the crabs, or the crabids as they're called. There's another rabbit that we can get another finest fur off of. Come here, motherfucker. Ow, what the fuck does launch fire at me? Oh, Camaro. Murder it. Oh god. I need to heal myself. That's right, I just saved your lives. You're welcome. Ow. Quick kill it. Oh my god, that almost blew up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to climb over a uh, weird mountain. Oh, fuck off. I'm not walking. Uh, Rolo, you're in the way, dude. Oh my god, Rolo, get the fuck out of the way, you asshole. I was, like, happy to see you, and now you're being a pain in my ass already. Fucking move, you dickhead! I wanted you stood there and fucking ask for it. Fucking dick monkey. I'm trying to build you a staircase so you can actually follow me? I'm already regretting missing you. Fucking dick. That's right, kill the Camaro. 
We have one last person to save. Oh god. Here we go. Remember this place? Guess who we're uh, rescuing yet? Go on, fall off. Fall off. Fall off. Come on, I need you to fall off. Oh, fine, I'll just mine your way down. Fucking idiots. Has anyone guessed who we're gonna find? Diddle, 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 diddle. Oh god, you two are gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, yep, they both got knocked out. Oh, okay, they're slowly waking up. Eh? What? I didn't even get the pieces I wanted. Oh, we got some obsidian though. Although we're not going to be using obsidian in this design. Nope. Oh my god, sapphire, rubies, and... What is this? Oh, iron. Oh, fuck you. Kill it. I don't want to be fighting this on my own in here. It killed my shield. Fine. Our armor's about to fall apart anyway, so m might as well. Go as mind out the way. There we go, we got Ruby and we learned something. A naughty night light. Oh, it's not even Ruby. Uh, Sapphire, even. Oh, fuck off. Ow. Uh, swap that, we'll put that down at the bottom. And we'll put that there. Alright guys, um... Might not want to stand here. Again, might not want to stand there. Or you can just stand there, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Lovely. Well, let's get out of here then. Oh, I'm actually going to starve to death now. Brilliant. Let's uh, find our way out of here, shall we? And then we'll go and rescue the last person. Uh, this way. Don't actually have any food on me or in my bag that I can eat. I don't. Th oh no, we do. Fried frog. Like, normally I would not even think about eating this, but considering it's a, just a game, I think we can get away with it. Run. <laughs> I think we need that blue stuff for the ultimate armor. I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Give me the rubies. Like, I have an obsession with shiny things. No, you bastard. Right, well, let's get out of here and go and find the last person. You can fuck off, Mr. I'm a block. 
when in fact we know that you are not a block, you are a dick. Oh, that was an ant. Gotta go up there, I think. Oh, it was. Are they really not gonna follow me? Fine, we'll walk round then, you pussies. Oh, fine, I'll build you a fucking path if that'll please you. Fuck you, tree. My armor just fell apart. Well, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Uh oh. I don't have any spare armor on me. Well, this is going to go sideways very quickly. I can see that right now. Well, if these guys won't fucking cross the poison, then Ellie definitely won't. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, whatever am I going to do? Benevolent Rubis herself appeared to me in a vision and told me to travel to Tanta Jail to deliver a certain special item to a certain special person or someone. How could I have been so, so foolish to allow it to be stolen by the monsters? Oh, if only there was someone who could put paid to all of their secret tunnels and take it back. Ah, you there, Wanderer, take these. This mountain is covered in with beastly burrows and I need you to smash them all up. Cheers. Ah, it's you again. I'm ever so sorry, but do you think you could destroy those beastly burrows for me? I know it's a lot to ask for of a perfect stranger, but I'm just so terribly afraid of the monsters. And the monsters in this cursed and corrupted land are even scarier than the ones back home in Rimelda. Oh, if only he were here. I wouldn't have to rely on the kindness of strangers. She's not even noticed who I am, just so everyone's aware. Oh, God. Right, well, let's go up. And up. And smash these pieces. Oh, fucking Bodkins, piss off. Murder them. Murder them all. Fuck you, Bodkin. Oh god, I don't know how these guys are going to follow me up. They can't. I'm going to have to make them a stairway. Okay, now they can get up. Okay, you kill these guys while I blow up their dens. Thanks, guys. Oh, fuck, my hammer broke. Good thing we got some spares with us. Fuck off, Mr. Bear Werewolf. Up we go. I don't know where the fuck they've gone. Oh god, here we go. I'm doing this naked just over underwear, so I'm fairly fucked. Now, like, I have no armor on. I'm gonna die almost certainly. I'm going to have to just run it round, attack it a few times, and then run off. Oh god. Ow. Okay, well. Close. Oh god. Please do leave me alone. Oh fuck, I'm paralysed. Um, have we got paralysis? Aha. Oh, that's antidote. 
It's a tingle tablet we wanted to use. Fuck's sake. What? The fuck? No. That one's the one we need. Um, because we were confused. Now they can't spawn. And he's turned up. Um, we kind of need all them to fuck off first. I mean, like, I'm naked, trying to fight all these monsters. It's not exactly working on my behalf. Thankfully, he's back up. You can fuck off. Come on, you cunts. Oh god, don't hit me. Oh, I didn't mean to use that, I wanted to use a healing potion. Come on, Krabby. You fucker. I found my hammer. Go on, fuck off the cliff. I'll get this guy. Can you guys reach him or not? Oh, he died. And I want that. Ow. Okay, now we need to make a way back up. Okay. Um, is this even going to work? It's a good thing it's not Minecraft, because these uh, sand blocks would have fallen. Well, no, 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 that one. We want to get Ellie before we go anywhere. Hell, you prick. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. You destroyed all the beastly burrows for me. I don't know how I can ever repay... Harry? Harry, is that you? Oh, you don't know how happy I am to see you again. I expect you're wondering what I'm doing here. You might not believe this, but the goddess appeared to me in a dream. She told me that I should travel to Tantagel to bring you the special item that you'd need to defeat the Dragon Lord. But on my way over, I got attacked by the monsters and they took it away from me. I'm so sorry. What? If it was the stuff of rain that was stolen, you've already got it back. Oh, Harry, I knew I could count on you. That's exactly the thing I was supposed to give you. Apparently, you'll need it to make something called the Rainbow Drop. But, oh, and naturally, now that we've got it, it's yours to keep. Make sure you take good care of it. Well then, Harry, shall we go back to this castle of yours? I'm ready. I'm only a weak, fearful servant of the great goddess above. But if there's anything I can do to help you beat the Dragon Lord, I'll do it. Come on, gang. Let's go. Chimera Wing, activate. Well, cheers then. Um... Instantly, I'm going to put this back. And we'll make as many of them as we can. As we are probably going to need them. We'll put the cannon away for now. Let's see if they've made me any food. No, they haven't. What a bunch of cunts. Fine, I'll make my own, you pricks. Right, let's complete all these quests quickly. Huzzah! For Sir Harry, thou hast done thy duty and rescued the Holy Sage. Aha, so this is Lady Barbella, the furious flower of coal. I must admit, I did not expect the Holy Sage to be quite a muscle-bound, not to mention rambunctious. Hmm? Thou sayest Lady Barbella is an inventor of far renown, that she and thee did join forces to develop many an historic armament? 
My, how appearances can deceive. I had thought her to be made of naught but muscle, but it seems Barbella doth bulge with brains. Speaking of deceptive appearances, tell me, Harry. The Dragon Lord may be the king of all monsters, but what manner of monster is he truly? Wherefore did he seal away mankind's power of creation? Tis sooth that the curse did place upon us reduce us to a weak and pitiful state. But if our downfall was his eventual aim, why did he take such a circuitous route to achieve it? If I, I were he, I would have destroyed humankind in a single decisive stroke. Ah, I have said too much. And yet I cannot help but feel that there was something more to the Dragon Lord's scheme than evil and evil alone. Though his deeds do apparently uh, appear truly monstrous, could it be that he, his reasoning was sound? Well, you need to be shot, traitor. Good goddess, Harry, thou hast returned, us, returned to us and with the holy sage in tow. Aho, this is the famous sister Ellie, that shining star of Ramalda. The lady thou didst work alongside to formulate new cures for the pests and plagues that did afflict the place. Never did I imagine that she would be so passing fair. Ah, I am burning with envy. Why didst thou have the good fortune to spend time in that blighted bog, and not I? What? Thou didst not only cure the sick, but didst also vanish, uh, vanquish the Hades Condor, the source of the sickness itself? But ha ha ha, Harry, thou art not more amusing than uh, thy features suggest, and thy features are most amusing indeed. To think that a common carpenter such as thee could topple such a mighty monster. Whatever wilt thou claim next, Harry? That thou wilt defeat the Dragon Lord? Um, yeah. I'm going to kick his ass and you're going to fucking beg that I don't chop your head off for being a cunt. Uh, pray hold thy tongue, for I fear my sides will fair split in twain. Well, I hope they do, you cunt. I hate this guy, honestly. He's worse than everyone else. Like, honestly, I miss LaRoche compared to this prick. Leaving such jappery aside, tis true that the sacred artifact brought by the sage hath brought the dragon lords down for a step closer when the legendary sword and armor are forged and the rainbow drop fashion uh, refashioned thy duty as the builder of elfguard will be complete there's a weighty duty to rest on such frail shoulders but i bid thee abide with this burden just a little longer oh thank fuck for that he's given us some medicine oi old man jenkins well done harry Thou hast rescued one of the three holy sages. If that fellow is indeed a holy sage, for a chosen servant of Almighty Rubis, he is not rather a rustic sort. He could at least have combed his beard. But still, the fact that a bumbling bumpkin such as he did journey here from distant Cantalin proveth one thing beyond doubt. The city must now be flourishing beyond measure, that even its lowest league citizen hath the courage to brave the darkness. Ah, the great city of Cantalin, far famed resting place of the legendary Aurora armor. But of course the armor, if that thou art to achieve thy names, thou must needs learn more than this suit of sacred mail. No doubt tis the duty of the, that sage to reveal its secrets to thee. As for mine own duty, Harry, I endeavour night and day to divine the location of the ancient artifact thou wilt need to refresh in the rainbow drop. It would seem it hath been hidden away in the blackest recess of benighted realm. And what is more, the fiend that guardeth the treasure is not like it to part with it. Shouldst thou but fell the monster, thy role as builder of Alfgard will all but be fulfilled. All this I have seen in my visions, but they are as yet hazy. When I know more, I will inform thee forthwith. Harry, my boy, the sacred duty is almost at an end. Thou must endure only a little longer. And now we can talk to the princess. Harry, my hero, thou hast rescued the three holy sages. 
All three are friends of thine, are they not? I sense mighty bonds of fellowship between you. Almighty Rebus, in all her infinite wisdom, did send the sages here to bring the three sacred artifacts. The artifact by which thou mightest reconstruct the ancient altar and thus the rainbow drop. By vouchsafing the, their safe arrival, thou hast brought thy sacred duty to prepare the Dragon Lord's downfall one step closer to completion. And... Harry, I have been thinking upon this sacred duty of yours of late. The Great Goddess did reveal to me that thou art not the hero who is destined to slay the Dragon Lord. And yet I cannot help but feel that with the powers thou wieldest, thou art abundantly big enough to achieve that. Just that. Indeed, twould seem that all thy friends are certain uh, the Dragon Lord's destruction will come at thy hand. However, Old Man Jenkins, the seer, because I don't know how the fuck to pronounce that, uh, doth insist that each and every one of us hath a predetermined path in life. And tis not our place to go against the heaven-sent guidance of the goddess. Verily, there is truth in his words. Harry, I thank thee for delivering the three holy sages from their plight. For now, at least, let us concentrate on our efforts on rebuilding this castle and making it ready for the day of the Dragon Lord's destruction. Wow, that was a lot of reading. Well, I think we're going to leave it there for today, and we'll pick up again next time. So, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it, and if you don't, as per usual, and I will see you all in the next episode, where I will be wearing better armor. Uh, so yeah, see you later.